Potassium is a mineral that plays a vital role in many bodily functions, such as regulating fluid balance, muscle contractions, nerve signals, and blood pressure. It is found mainly inside the cells of your body, and it works together with sodium to maintain a healthy electrolyte balance. However, some people may have low levels of potassium in their blood, which can cause various symptoms and health problems. This condition is known as hypokalemia, and it can be caused by several factors, such as chronic diarrhea, vomiting, excessive sweating, certain medications, kidney disorders, or eating disorders. In this video, we will explore nine signs that you may have a potassium deficiency and what you can do to prevent or treat it. 1. Weakness and fatigue. One of the most common signs of low potassium is feeling weak and tired. This is because potassium helps your muscles contract and relax properly, and it also helps your cells use glucose for energy. When your potassium levels are low, your muscles may produce weaker contractions and your cells may have less available glucose. This can result in reduced physical performance, endurance, and stamina. 2. Muscle cramps and spasms. Another sign of low potassium is experiencing muscle cramps and spasms, especially in your legs, arms, or abdomen. Muscle cramps are sudden and involuntary contractions of one or more muscles that cause pain and discomfort. Muscle spasms are similar, but they last longer and may cause twitching or jerking movements. These symptoms can occur when your potassium levels are low because potassium helps regulate the electrical signals that control your muscle contractions. Without enough potassium, your muscles may become overexcited and contract too much or too little. 3. Tingling and numbness. Low potassium can also affect your nerve function, which can cause tingling and numbness sensations in your hands, feet, or other parts of your body. Tingling and numbness are abnormal sensations that occur when there is reduced or altered nerve activity in a certain area. Potassium helps carry electrical signals to your nerves, which allow them to communicate with your brain and other parts of your body. When your potassium levels are low, your nerve signals may become impaired or disrupted, which can result in these sensations. 4. Digestive problems. Another sign of low potassium is having digestive problems, such as constipation, bloating, gas, or abdominal pain. Potassium helps regulate the contractions of your smooth muscles, which are found in your digestive tract. These contractions help move food and waste through your system. When your potassium levels are low, your smooth muscles may not contract properly, which can slow down or disrupt your digestion. This can lead to constipation or other gastrointestinal issues. 5. Heart palpitations. Low potassium can also affect your heart function, which can cause heart palpitations. Heart palpitations are feelings of having a fast-beating, fluttering, or skipping heart. They can be caused by various factors such as stress, anxiety, caffeine, nicotine, or medication. However, they can also be caused by low potassium levels because potassium helps regulate the electrical activity of your heart cells. When your potassium levels are low, your heart cells may become more sensitive or erratic, which can result in abnormal heart rhythms. 6. High blood pressure. Another sign of low potassium is having high blood pressure. Blood pressure is the force of blood pushing against the walls of your arteries as it flows through them. It is measured by two numbers, systolic pressure, the top number, and diastolic pressure, the bottom number. Normal blood pressure is below 120 eighths millimeters of mercury. High blood pressure is above 140 ninetieths millimeters of mercury. Potassium helps balance the effects of sodium on your blood pressure. Sodium tends to increase your blood pressure by causing your body to retain water and constrict your blood vessels. Potassium helps counteract this by causing your body to excrete water and relax your blood vessels. When your potassium levels are low, your sodium levels may become too high, which can raise your blood pressure. 7. Increased urination. Low potassium can also cause increased urination frequency or volume. This is because potassium helps regulate the amount of water and electrolytes in your body fluids. When your potassium levels are low, your body may try to compensate by increasing the production of urine to flush out excess sodium and water from your system. This can result in frequent trips to the bathroom or increased urine output. 8. Confusion. Another sign of low potassium is having confusion or mental fog. 
Confusion is a state of being unclear or uncertain about something or someone. It can affect your memory, attention, judgment, or reasoning abilities. Mental fog is a feeling of being unable to think clearly or focus on anything. It can affect your concentration, creativity, or productivity. Potassium helps support your brain function by facilitating the transmission of nerve signals and the delivery of oxygen and glucose to your brain cells. When your potassium levels are low, your brain function may become impaired or diminished, which can result in confusion or mental fog. 9. Difficulty breathing. Low potassium can also affect your respiratory system, which can cause difficulty breathing. Difficulty breathing is a feeling of being unable to breathe normally or comfortably. It can be accompanied by symptoms such as shortness of breath, wheezing, coughing, chest pain, or anxiety. Difficulty breathing can be caused by various factors such as asthma, allergies, infections, or lung diseases. However, it can also be caused by low potassium levels because potassium helps regulate the contractions of your diaphragm and intercostal muscles. These are the muscles that help you breathe in and out. When your potassium levels are low, these muscles may not work properly, which can reduce your lung capacity and oxygen intake. How to prevent or treat potassium deficiency. The best way to prevent or treat potassium deficiency is to eat a balanced diet that includes foods that are high in potassium. Some examples of potassium-rich foods are bananas, avocados, potatoes, sweet potatoes, spinach, kale, broccoli, tomatoes, oranges, melons, apricots, prunes, raisins, nuts, seeds, beans, lentils, milk, yogurt, cheese. The recommended daily intake of potassium for adults is 4,700 mg per day. However, this may vary depending on your age, gender, health condition or medication use. You should consult with your doctor or dietitian to determine your individual needs and goals. In some cases, you may need to take a potassium supplement to correct a deficiency. However, you should only do this under medical supervision, as taking too much potassium can also cause serious side effects such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, irregular heartbeat, or cardiac arrest. You should also avoid using salt substitutes that contain potassium chloride without consulting your doctor first. Potassium is an essential mineral that has many roles in your body. Having low levels of potassium can cause various signs and symptoms that can affect your physical and mental health. To prevent or treat potassium deficiency, you should eat a balanced diet that includes foods that are high in potassium. You should also consult with your doctor if you have any risk factors or medical conditions that may affect your potassium levels. Let us know in the comments below what do you think. Thanks for watching.